Well, hi friends, good morning. It's Wendy Purdy, day nine of hotel quarantine in downtown Sydney, Australia. Look at that sun streaming through the window. It's supposed to rain today. The windows could do with a bit of a wash. That's not gonna happen, but it's all right. I can still see the ferries on the harbour, the sun glaring in my face. It's great. And, uh, and my beautiful conservatorium down the road. So guys, today's day nine. I'm over halfway, tomorrow is day 10. And on day 10, I do my COVID-19 test. Looking forward to that, all will be well. I'm absolutely fine. Um, and, I'm, and I make sure I was looking, <laughs> make sure I look, uh, I'm completely covered on the, um, for the flights to and from Australia. Um, so, okay, so in the, in, the, in the room, I've got my beautiful flowers, which are still looking gorgeous from Ros and Tony, the roses and the tulips. Today in my breakfast box, I've got wheat bix Now, I haven't had wheat bix since I was a kid, so that's a bit exciting. Um, and the hotel team who dropped us off some sweets yesterday, really lovely. It was a little treat from the hotel team. And I saw them in the corridor and thanked them, and as well as sending an email to the hotel to say thank you very much for everything. Everyone's going out of their way to make sure everyone's looked after. And the little card in the breakfast box today says, one step closer. It says, we are one day closer to everything being back to normal again. That's a good thought to wake up to every morning, and it is. And it'll go on my collection on my print. So I'll pop that up there today. Um, the flowers are going beautifully. Um, the Mirando's hamper is, uh, I've tucked into that, and I've uh, drunk half of the uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, which is absolutely stunning. Um, all is well. The only problem uh, that I will encounter is that one of my siblings who's in Queensland might not be able to come down to Sydney. Um, it looks like the borders might not be relaxed until September, which would be really annoying because I won't be here at that point. Um, and I'm hoping they'll be relaxed by June and then um, she can come down by June because that was the point of the exercise of being here so that we could all be together. So that's, that was something that happened yesterday that came out in the media. So that'll be really disappointing. But, you know, hey-ho, it's okay. Can wait till next visit then. Um, all is well. A friend sort of said, did you bring enough woolies because we're going into winter? So I've got all my winter clothes from London because we were coming out of winter, going into... Uh, heading towards summer. So I've got my winter woolies here ready. It's supposed to rain today, clearly not raining at the moment. The sun is out and shining and blasting through that window. Um, so all is well. I got up to nearly 14,000 steps in my hotel room the other day, chatting on the phone to various people. And I think that's the way forward for me now to try and get my steps because I was struggling to get to 10,000. But it's all good um, and I'm very light footed because I'm aware that there are people underneath me. Um, the people upstairs were thumping quite a bit so I had to sort of say to reception, can we tone down the jumping which started, started at 6am. So I'm quite light footed and I'm doing swift light steps on the balls of my feet, uh, changing it up a bit, doing backwards and crisscross legs as well to make sure my legs are working well and keeping fit in quarantine land. But looking forward to that breath of fresh air, which will be next Sunday. So I'll let you know how the COVID-19 test goes. Um, get the results in 72 hours after the test and then I get debriefed on Saturday to leave on Sunday. And um, I will be having a piece of paper that says I've done the quarantine and I cut that around with me. So team, enjoy the rest of your day and uh, stay well and stay healthy, everyone. Bye.